that big this shit. You turn the light on the church. You shine our light on them. And the rats just approach his town. That bitch done. She probably done gave birth to other roaches. Right, probably done had tears. Gave birth to tears. Put them up for adoption and shit. Y'all know America. God's about to destroy America. Right? <laughs> God's about to destroy America. They just walk around. They mad as fuck, man. They're flying or something. Before this, before this thing, your pride falls. <laughs> yeah, that was way up. Goddamn, the devil. I'm sorry, ass devil. Woo! Fuck out you. of here, faggot. You know, goddamn Muslims. Come out from Austin on the lake. Fuck. Yo, I'm about to get this Christmas though. Deuteronomy 18 and 11. Or well, actually 18 and 20. Let me start up. Uh, yeah, let me start Deuteronomy 18 and 9. When thou art coming to the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. So you ain't supposed to follow after the abominations of all these other nations. Like that dumbass bitch came up here. She's following after the ways of the other, other nations. Okay. She, she had she had a serious problem when we just saying Jesus was black. We was evil because we said Jesus was black. She that that offended her, and she was dark skinned too. So that she has that self hate complex. You know what I'm saying? She hates herself. Exalted. The Amazon kingdom of uh, Wonder Woman and shit. They want to hear some bullshit like that, man. Yeah. She probably, she's a lesbian, so they right. think it's cool to have faggot preachers. And it's okay to be a homosexual and for the homosexual couples to raise children. That's some, some weird shit going on out here, man. These people are foul to be. You know what? Oh, the only way you can cleanse this wickedness is your fire. All y'all heathens are gonna get burned up by those nuclear missiles. Y'all gonna get burned to crisp. Somebody gotta be prepared, yeah. <laughs> somebody got somebody got play that. I mean, that's, that's what the scriptures say. Man. <laughs> but watch this. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. Also, oh, half these over half these women them broke that rule. That law. They all these bitches getting abortions. Most women. I, hold on, this is loud as hell. Most women don't have like five abortions by the time they're 15. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's really that bad. Bitches get abortions left and right. Like it ain't shit. They go to the, the clinic and get an abortion like they just had a quick procedure. Like a quick cleanup, you know what I mean? Like, like they, they got like they just took a colon cleanse. Yeah, <laughs> or like they got they teeth cleaning the dentist or something. <laughs> just ain't nothing to them. They just do it like like they just want to take a shit or a douche themselves or something. They, I mean, they kill their babies like it ain't nothing, man. And there's laws to protect these hoes. And then, and then a woman that had done had five abortions, she's given custody of her children over her husband. You know what I'm saying? Well, here it is. She's a child murderer in the state rather give her custody of her children than a, a motherfucking, than a man. What kind of wicked shit is that? And then she'll go to court and get child support at the same time. These fucking dumb ass hoes, man. The Lord's gonna kill all these wicked ass bitches. It's gonna, bring, it's gonna, be, yeah, it's gonna be a great slaughter. They're gonna, the Lord's just gonna be stamping them like big grapes and he's gonna tread the wine press. So all, the Lord's garments are gonna be drenched with blood. It's just gonna, it's just gonna be horrible. It's gonna be terrible. You're gonna hear screams. You're gonna hear people at begging for mercy and you know what I'm saying? Praying, please, Lord, don't. You know what I'm saying? Lord's like, nope. Yeah, yeah, he ain't trying that shit. He just the time to kill it. Ain't a time of Oh, I know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, let me read this. There should not be found this is Deuteronomy 18 to 10. There should not be found among you anyone that make it the son or daughter to pass through the fire. For that uses divination 
or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. Now every time you get on any internet any, any internet site, Yahoo, whatever it is, everybody's always checking out their astrological reading. Some of the most popular videos on YouTube is about a, a astrology. You know what I'm saying? People want to get their breakdowns on their signs. They own to astrology. This shit rules their life. Cause a lot of these people too in secret they the actual devil worship. They part of pre Masonic society. You got the fraternities up here on OSU campus. They worship they worship the devil and they fucking play with each other's ball sacks. We're in a faggots we seen running down the street the other day. Yeah. And a fraternity was out here running down the street butt naked. That's how you get inducted to uh, fraternities. You gotta be a faggot. You gotta worship the devil. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to joke. That's why they trying to get Bible, Bibles out of the school. But fuck, they done trying. They been got the Bible out of the school. There ain't no Bible. Ain't no Bible. No, you take a Bible to school, you get suspended. The teacher get fired. You know what I'm saying? They don't want no little children reading that. Some places face charges, misdemeanor charges. Uh, you know what they want to teach your children? Ob Obama said it's a must that we teach our kindergartners sex sexual education. They got to teach those kids sex ed in kindergarten. That's what Obama said. He said, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Obama said, fuck the Bible. We got to teach your kids to be faggots. We got to teach them about uh, you know, sucking dick in the kindergarten. Teach those girls how to do it early. You know what I mean? That's early, so they won't give in. What kind of shit is that? I mean, I'm not making this up. You go look it up. This is crazy shit. You can't. when I was in high school, man, I don't know if y'all seen it, but they used to have an actual x-ray vision, or x-ray version of somebody having sex. It was actual x real x-ray image of them having sex. It was a video. And they were showing the dick going out. They were showing the nut and the pussy and everything, man. We in high school getting horned in the motherfucker. Yeah, he's back there playing with your shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> looking at that bitch on the next row like, mm. <laughs> That's it. They didn't show that shit. No sex <laughs> No, they, they didn't. I don't, I, they just showed us how to put a... I think they were showing you how to put a condom on. Right. They actually showed us how to put a condom on. We actually saw video. They but, showed us video. But like, I couldn't... Uh, first of all, you should never, ever use condoms. Ever. Right. Never, right. ever. Okay, if a bitch is that damn nasty, you don't need to be touching her. You don't need that pussy. Hey, so say a prayer. Yeah. Yeah, say a prayer, dude. Yeah, the condoms can't stop them diseases no way. That's right. Now, a lot of times, the condoms come prepackaged with diseases already in it. So, you strap that condom on, you catch something, because that's just the way shit is. Yeah, I noticed back in the day when I had, um, had fucked with some condoms, man, it had powder and shit on it. Uh, and my shit would get all irritated. Yeah. Like yeah. Powder and shit. I never wear condoms. Hey, don't be pulling. When you fuck, what's, what's the powder for? And when you fuck a bitch, you ain't supposed to be pulling out either. You supposed to bust all up in a hole, man. Just, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Yeah, give birth to my children, ho. I'm supposed to make the baby. That defeats the That's what defeats the whole person's purpose of having sex with a woman to do with. The little bitch only gonna do get in the toilet the trash can and pull that rubber out and put it in her head. <laughs> oh yeah, they do that. You know what I'm saying? The only one, you know? <laughs> shit. They All actually do that. They do that shit, man. Right. Oh, go ahead, give it me a minute. First uh, Corinthians. First Corinthians. No. You trying to listen for? Oh, okay. This is uh, Romans sixteen and seventeen. Now I beseech you, Reverend Mark them which caused divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Like this is somebody that definitely got Yeah, pretty much you gotta avoid almost everybody. She's against truth. I mean, it's already known that, you know, this black woman is not getting any fucking way. And so all she did was just reveal it to be the truth. Yeah, they come up here and challenge this truth before the actual wicked does. That's the actual wicked. You gotta offend it. 
fucking ass bitch, bro. That's fishy ass bitch. Well, you know, the stripper says, bless is the team who's, who's not offended. You know? So we ain't worried about these bitches no way, man. Yeah. Bitches are, if I, we had, if we up here, we had some cocaine and a pocket full of money. Oh, yeah. Shit, she'd be on our side, no problem. Yeah, party. Party. Yeah, party. She'd be down. Yeah. She'd be our best friend. Yeah, yeah so we ain't worried about these retarded ass hoes and what they think. We, ain't, we don't care about their opinion, what they're talking about. Okay, when we look at a bitch, the only thing we look at is like, I just look a bitch. I mean, look, I just, all you can do with a bitch is fuck a bitch. That's all you can do That's all you can do is just have, that's all they took for is sex. That's it. Romans 16 and 18, for they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shah, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Yeah, that's all these women. Yep. That's all these women. All they follow after is the lust of their uh, belly. All they care about is filling up their belly. They care about some physical shit. What can you do? What can, what can you buy for them? Yeah. Bitch ain't fucking with you if you ain't got no money. That's just crazy point. She ain't gonna love you because she loves you. And she, you know, your spirit meshes with her. Nah, that's not the way shit works. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause you, that's you, not you, the way shit works. You know, you motherfuckers dream about finding a green woman. My spirit just connected with her. So your wallet connected with her. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You only seen that in Hollywood. That's where only, where you only gonna see it. In the fucking movie. We'll try to give you one of those asked for, but it might not be what you want when you get it. You might get, give you what you asked for. You'll get exactly what you want. You'll get it. You'll get it. You'll wish you didn't have it. Here you go. This is Proverbs 1 and uh, 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you, because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hands, and no man regarded. Yeah, that's when we out here teaching. We stretch out our hands. Just like the other scripture said, we have pipes, but you have not danced. We out here teaching it. Y'all just walk away, or they might come up for a minute, kick it with us for about five minutes, shoot the shit with us. Think they got nothing to yeah. with us. They think that they good, they in there, because they talk to us for a minute. You know what I mean? Nah, man, it, it don't work that way. <laughs> That's what that scripture's talking about. Right, right. Because you ain't doing the work, man. You got to come with you. It's over for you. Know? It's just over for you, man. It's just fucking no hope for you. It ain't going to be free. Nothing but death and destruction coming your way. Like, you just got to do the work. If you don't want to be destroyed, just do the work. That's simple and plain. Yeah. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. So the Lord gonna laugh at these fools. And read that again. So the Holy Bible, the Holy Bible said that when you're getting destroyed and your body's being blown to pieces and you're being disintegrated, then God is gonna laugh at you. Right. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And he's going out, and after you destroy, he's gonna mock you. You know what I mean? Just like over in the Middle East, when they get a hold of a, uh, an American soldier, they drag his ass down the street, go piss on him, shit on him, put his, put his head up on a pole. But they used to, they used to be common uh, in the Bible. Joshua took kings after he killed them, start hanging their ass up on a tree. See, see, that's what happens when you fuck around with, you know, with the service of the Lord. Israel, Israel, they got the whole idea of yeah, Joshua had that power too. Right. Yeah, he was an old man when he was doing that killing too. Right. He, he was old and he was, had super strength. You know, he was, yeah, he was as agile like a. Like, he didn't want to. Who did? You can see her ass cheek like a. Who Oh, god damn. <laughs> These motherfucking hoes. Oh, oh. I'm like Aaron. He's a bitch ass, ass naked. I got to show you that to make it fucking fall down. What do you say? Go ahead with that. When your fear cometh as desolation, a 
and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, talking to you, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. But I would not answer. Just like these bitches, they all they don't give a they don't care one bit about the Lord trying to do the right thing, they're not spiritual. So the first time somebody's trying to beat them up or rob them, they're saying, Oh Lord, oh Jesus. <laughs> and, you know, if they about to get every time they get in a car wreck or someone right. scares them, they scream it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, when you fucking them, they be like, Oh God, Jesus. Yeah, when you have a sex with them, they did, yeah, they screaming out to God. That's the only time they cry out to God. Fucking slut. Stress. Them old ass hoes up in the churches, y'all ain't godly women either. You don't, you don't know nothing. You just, yeah, this is the worst kind. You, you just a damn menopause and you can't be a hoe like you used to. You know what I mean? Then they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge. Yeah, these, these fools hate knowledge. The Bible says fools hate knowledge. You know what I'm saying? They despise the Bible. They're rejecting us right now. You know? So he's saying, for that they hated knowledge. All that, all this that he just named, fear, pain, destruction, desolation. That's their reward. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Uh, here goes a fucking homo squad. Who he, who neighborhood heroes. Neighborhood, yeah. neighborhood Spider-Man. Are y'all superheroes? Are y'all like kick ass? And George Zimmerman. Are y'all down with the, the communists? That was, that's what the CCP is. That's that communist shit. That's just like Russia. Just add one more T. CCP. <laughs> well, it's really an R. It's a T, yeah. That's the Soviet Union shit. That's that communist shit. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own delight. Later, my bonus I can catch every day. 71, 72, 70. I, mean, it's, I hear about it every day now. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. He said, the turning away of the simple. There's a bunch of simple fools out here. What do they care about? Right now, all they care about is the Buckeye football team. Football team. Buckeye just... Well, unless you just beat Buffalo. Like, <laughs> Buffalo. Fuck. Hey, I'm gonna read that about their coach, man. Yeah, Urban Meyer, he's a big faggot, man. Just like Tressler. Jim Tressel was a big faggot, too. I don't know if I still got it. We, I, I, we cursed Jim Tressel out to his face. Right here, down here on the corner. We seen that faggot walk across the street approaching us. We try to teach him the Bible, and he, he, he dissed us, you know what I mean? So we curse his ass out. He's a, you can see in his spirit, you can just look in Jim Tressel's eyes and just tell he's a big faggot. And then he was having an interview the same day we cursed him out at Eddie George's. He was having an interview with, with a gay magazine. That's the, the coach of the OSU, uh, the OSU Buck Guys football team. He was the old coach. He was giving an interview with the gay magazine. And he said he has no problem with homosexuals being on his team as part of his home, as part of his uh, football family. That's on record, son. Second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be on to thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be on to thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloth of sack. And here, be well your children. And be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Hug them little bastards. That's why we wear this is pretty much sackcloth, you know what I mean? That's, we wearing this. This is a, a, a garment of being in mourning, you know what I mean? Because it's just about to be destroyed. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Yeah, so that sword's coming. Y'all can't stop this upcoming destruction. Yeah. Upcoming nuclear war is about to pop off. Y'all, America's about to be destroyed by a thermonuclear missile. That's what's about to go down. You know, 
stupid ass people. Y'all just sit at home watching TV. They watching what? Some, some football, some Duck Dynasty. <laughs> That's all they do. Just watch TV, program their shows. I gotta watch my show tonight. They don't, they don't know shit. They a bunch of retards, man. Hey, you can, shut up, bitch. You can see why the Illuminati want to kill everybody. Look how stupid that motherfucker is. They need to be killed. The Lord's gonna kill them. A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? So America's gonna be burned by fire. There ain't no stopping it. God, that's gonna be the Most High is gonna burn America to a crisp. Burn, baby, yeah, burn, burn, baby, burn. burn, baby, burn. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? So you ain't even gonna be turning back to plagues. You ain't gonna stop it. You know, you ain't gonna save America. You're not, you're not gonna, uh, have to, yeah, they ain't gonna turn it, they don't stop it, man. May any man drive away a, a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when when it has begun to burn. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. A strong archer? That's talking about those missiles. Russia got them ICBMs that can travel thousands of miles. They can travel to the other side of the planet. They can shoot a missile from one side of the planet to the They can shoot a missile up in the outer space, have it flying through outer space, come down and land on your ass. Man. And they got, they got, how many missiles they got? They got like a million. Thousands, man. Thousands. Yes. Thousands. I think it's like hundreds of thousands. You know, right. They probably got the they, right. It's right. like a million. They got millions of missiles. They about to all be shot on America. They think in the missiles that they left dormant. The missiles they left dormant, so called the Cold War. Yeah, they had missiles. They breaking them back. They had missiles back in the 1960s to blow up a whole state. What you think they got now? Right, right. They got the, they got the missiles are all gonna be spent. They got nuclear missiles. They got 20, 30 warheads on them. Yeah. Uh, one missile can shoot out 30 other missiles. Separately, it's like it's like a it's like a mobile missile launcher. Satan bomb. That's the one that Russia got. The Satan. The Satan. They call it Satan. Their nukes, when they come back in the atmosphere, got their own guidance systems on it. So if they see a, 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 it, it's a, it's a smart nuke. So if they see one of America's uh, defense missiles coming toward it, it locks in on it and, and maneuvers. <laughs> and plus, we can, shoot, we can shoot the dummy missiles too. Yeah, that's some bad shit, man. This place is in fucking trouble. This about to go down. No, never in history has America paid for any other Trump. Now is that Trump. Flags are sent. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Flags are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a, a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in the stubble when it has begun to burn? May one turn again the arc, the arrow that is shot from a strong archer. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder in his presence? That's why we say when people are going to be disintegrated. The Bible said you're going to be beaten to a powder. All you heathens, you're going to be beaten to a powder. Okay? What's called paper? Yeah, yeah, you, you. Goddamn Moabites. And, look, you got Chinese people every damn where. You know what I'm saying? They walk around like they're better than everybody. They probably got Chinese sleeper cells. Just like they said, you got these Chinese sleeper cells to start killing Americans any day. That could just start happening. Yep, they right up in here. They you everywhere. Know, in universities. Yep, they everywhere. Same with them goddamn Arabs. They got Chinese and Russian troops training somewhere. Uh, yep, they got they got Russian troops They're training with, in America. What kind of madness is that? Because they know our military is going to lay down when it's time to come They ain't going to go after their own people. Yeah, so they're going to have to use state of yeah, because the Russians, they want to kill Americans. They'll be more than happy to kill Americans all day. They, they, they look forward to it. 
They've been training for it, hoping for it for years and years. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. You see, just like that movie, what's that Rocky movie, Rocky IV? Rocky was battling the Russian, even back in the 80s. You know, <laughs> they've been had beef. That, yeah. that beef been going on forever. So it's just, it's just a matter of time before Russia and America is getting a, getting that uh, nuclear missile battle. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna be cheering for Rocky either. You know, in the end of the Rocky movie, all the Russians started cheering for Rocky. Right, right. What kind of faggot shit is that? Faggot shit. It's an inspirational bullshit. That's what America's need. Their children, Mike. They're faggots, man. Yeah. They need fairy tale shit. <laughs> that was definitely shit. Yeah, because that definitely didn't happen. Fairy tale shit. That really actually never happened. That don't make no sense. Yeah, that shit didn't happen. I got a script for you. That's all people want to hear. Sweet things. A whole bunch of sweet nothing. Sweet nothing. Whispery as pillow talk. I got a script for you. It's been really good. Isaiah 30. Let me get this real quick. Isaiah 30 and 9. That, uh, that this is a rebellious people. Lying children, this is talking about the Lord's people, the Israelites. He said that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. They don't even care to hear the law of the Lord. If you giving you your salvation, a way to get saved, and you don't even care to give a shit. And the law of the Lord, you got right there in Leviticus, Deuteronomy, yeah, that's the law. That's, it's the law of the Bible says don't eat pork. But tell one of these fat bitches that you can't eat pork. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Start swinging on you. Try to eat you. So hiss at you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. Fucking vampires. These Look at all these fat bitches, man. You got more fat bitches than ever in the history of the earth. I think. Yeah, I think America is the top country with obese people. The number one. Hell yeah, by far. They're probably on 90% of them on welfare too. Yep, yep. You go, you go to 95. <laughs> yeah, you go to Japan, ain't no fat people. All you, the fattest people are sumo wrestlers. Yep, yep. And they're bred to Yeah. Yeah, they bred to be fat. Right. And I went to Japan. Just for that sport. I was in Japan. I got a McDonald's meal, and the cups was all small. The burger was smaller than American burgers. The fries were smaller. Everything was smaller. That's the last thing America needs for um, them Ammonites to get in that uh, Samurai period. Oh, uh, they're they gonna, they gonna get in that Samurai period. This is sick as hell. They're gonna go back to that, uh, go back to Kamikaze on the end. They is gonna, uh, that's what's gonna happen. They ain't gonna win them when they do that. Japan just came out. They just came out that new war shit. Yeah, they, actually, they just shot a new missile. See? They're not, they're not, uh, Japan's not even supposed to be doing that stuff. They're doing it anyway. They signed treaties. Because America's not, I mean, Japan's not supposed to be having no kind of active military like that, only for defense. They've always had a military. Yeah. You know, it's like, 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 it's just American. But, you know, these secretive people. You got the Yakuza, the Japanese mafia. Yeah, yeah. That's probably who's really controlling Japan. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Japanese mafia. Yeah. Mafia, they should be Yeah. They some slick motherfuckers. So them troops, it's like, it's like 150,000 troops there. U.S. troops there, they gonna get slaughtered there. Bro. They probably will. That's if they make some sense. You just get sense of the Middle East. Where the Lord is gathering all the nations is what's going on now. He's gathering that. Russia's sending more and more warships there, subs, thousands of jets. America just sent another USS Norwich, some bullshit there, another one. Yeah, I've seen that. They get coat. I mean, everybody's they, France. They just sent an aircraft carrier to the Red Sea. You know, you know, that's Revelation 16. And, and then Russia just sent a, a, a reconnaissance boat out there. Mm -hmm. in the yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. The jet, that giant plane. I was just reading about it this morning. That giant uh, surveillance. They call it a spy ship. A spy ship. A giant spy ship. I'm going to read the rest of this scripture real quick. Thank you. Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children that would not hear the law of the Lord. So they don't even hear the law of the Lord. They want to listen to the laws of the Bible. Like they definitely don't even keep the Ten Commandments. They can't even do that. 
You know, they all a bunch of adulterers, a bunch of hoes. You know what I'm saying? But they definitely won't believe anything you say about the news. They so retarded. These people don't watch the news. They have a TV. They watch it. They watch some BET or some MTV or some dumb shit. That's it. Even the news is garbage anyway. Like CNN and Fox News. That's just garbage. It's really worthless. So if they do happen to watch the news, they watch it some, some some propaganda. So they, these people are retarded out here, man. And I noticed when I watch the president do his speeches, politicians, and the motherfucking news, they always looking down at some shit like they're reading. Hell oh, yeah. So everything's scripted. It's all scripted. All the, all these the speeches, people. all that shit. Yeah, everybody scripted. makes jokes about Obama because all he does is read off teleprompters. And he's famous for that. All presidents did that shit. Especially oh, yeah. dumbass George Bush. He couldn't even motherfucking. He couldn't even look. All he he couldn't give eye contact with dumbass. He couldn't say nothing fluently without reading that whatever he had to read first. Yeah, he just got a, he just got a special hatred for that, uh, that fat homosexual in his back. So they bring it out. Yeah. He did bring it out a little bit from the bush. Just known that he was a retard back then. Everyone knew he was a retard. Yeah, everybody knew that shit. Yeah, Obama. Obama. Yeah, because Obama. That's the dumbest president in history right there. Yeah. Obama's just a continuation of the Bush administration. The same goddamn thing. The same They're doing the same shit. they saying we gotta go into Syria because they got WMDs. Yeah, that's, uh, what, that's what Bush said yeah, that's about Iraq. Yeah. The same yeah. shit. Same strategy. The same shit over and over, man. It don't matter who the president is, it's all the same shit. Now, actually, they put Obama in there on purpose to cause racial division. They didn't like that division. But really, it's a good thing. You know what I mean? You got division going like this. Yeah, it was supposed to be that way from the get Yeah, because that's their whole plan was to go ahead, you're going to put Obama in there, you're going to trick black people, make black people think that the savior has arrived. Right, yep. You yep, know what I'm saying? Yep, bamboozled them. But yeah, but like uh, the income of black people has dropped since he's been in office. He ain't helped shit. Unemployment. I mean, it's all. I mean, it's just he's the devil. He's sure. a fucking fact. Might still be the way to murder. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. No, no, Obama, 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 Obama himself said uh, that he was a post-racial. Uh, we live in a post-racial America. But he's fighting more for faggots, right? So he cares about saving faggots. That's Obama's whole agenda is to conquer every nation in the world and turn everybody into faggots. <laughs> That's all he's doing, man. Why the hell would you want to do the world like that? Because he's a faggot. Now you figure if he did accomplish that, right, sooner or later, there won't be no man. That's why the Lord said that uh, he has to come before the wicked one. He'll destroy himself. Because you know? all these faggots, then... He'll destroy himself. He don't know. He, he's like a reckless child. Yeah, Obama, he just... He sold for reckless child. Man. Generations on generations down the line, there will be no more mankind. Right, right. The whole earth will be desolate. The whole you got entire planet. If the Lord did it, walking opinion. around. Yeah. yeah the whole but earth will be, you won't seen, be one soul walking around. Y'all seen about all these faggots getting killed in New York? Mm -hmm. Good for them. Transvestite they got killed. They killed one right in front of the police station. Yeah, yeah faggots are starting to get killed left they and right. They killed right in front of the, the substation. You're going to hear a lot, a lot more stories on the news about faggots getting killed. Good for and you're gonna see a rise. Because yeah. people get tired of it. You can't, yeah, yeah. Because you can't control yourself, especially if somebody's drunk too. You're like, oh, look at this package. It's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not even thinking. It rides the spirits. Yep, that's your spirit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You see a faggot, you drunk, beat that ass. And that's why they said uh, over there in Russia, when Russia passed laws outlawing faggots, so now it's a dead curve. Government's pretty much encouraging people to go beat up, beat up faggots. So they, they said that they've been tricking people on, on the internet, saying you want to meet up and we can do something. I'll even give you some money and they trick faggots and come over, you know, beat the shit out of them, they'll, they'll, they'll pour piss on them. You know what I mean? They'll Sounds like off. a good idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've been doing it. And then, like that, yeah. and then yeah. there's no, pro they don't never get prosecuted. Yeah. The, Ru the Russian government is cool with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's, 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 you don't see that coming here soon. Yeah, man, D go bitch. <laughs> I seen some shit like that here. Hey, yeah, look uh, at that bitch, man. Some that's fucking disgusting. Out of board. Got a dashboard. Went to the wrong bar at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> you got step through. Got a 
He looks like his boy back in the day. What's that dude? Uh, he looks like, dude, after the guy's done, he looks like the mess. <laughs> you know that? Uh, back in the day, that movie. Oh, boy, the chair. He looked like Emma Till. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, he said, yeah, he looked like Emma Till. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, that's a crazy yeah, dude. Yeah, he looked like him. He looked like that. Yeah, he had a blind girlfriend. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, that was a house of righteous ass with him. Uh, Isaiah, this we're talking about these wicked ass Israelites. Isaiah 30 and 9. Now, this is a rebellious people, lying children, ch children that will not hear the law of the Lord, would say to the seers, which are prophets, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto his right things, speak unto his smooth things, prophesy deceits. That's why they have a problem with every last thing we say. If we tell someone that Christmas is an abomination, they get mad at you. I'm like, I'm not celebrate Christmas. Motherfucker, how come you want some, your wife will leave you if you don't celebrate Christmas? Straight up, she will straight cold leave you. If you don't celebrate Christmas, your wife is gonna leave you. Okay, that's all there is to it. Yeah. I mean, and Christmas is like the high holy day of Satan. But these people don't know that. Like the Roman Empire, they worship the sun on December 25th. It's a day of sun worship. What the fuck, fuck is that? We tell them all, tell them all fuck this man. Like you can just tell them straight up. Like don't celebrate Christmas or the most high school fuck the world. Oh, oh, he not cussed you down, man. But they celebrating Christmas. They get mad at you, but they celebrating Christmas putting a Christmas tree in their house. On here it is the Christmas tree. What the Christmas tree represents is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And that's why it has the little fruit, the little bulbs popping out there. That's that forbidden fruit. Did y'all know, y'all know Christmas is devil worship? And America is a country of devil worshipers and faggots. Y'all know that? That's what it is. It's a country of devil worshipers and faggots and adulterous assholes. That's what goes down to all manner of filth forces. Hey, let's get that, uh... What the bitches? I want to go... Then talk shit. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. Yeah, Mount Seir is the Edomites. Okay, so you probably... When we come out here, that's the... So-called Jews and Edomites, all these rich white people, these are all the Edomites. They're the ones that control them. You know? And say unto them, Thus said the Lord power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. Really, Mount Seir is really America. It's really what it is. America, NATO, all of his allies, the, the New World Order system. That's, that's Mount Seir, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's a mouth. Oh, that's that's why, why they call certain things a summit. They about to have the G. No, the, the, the they about to have the G20 summit. They about to have the G20 summit. Behind it. Yeah. They actually named shit. They have meeting. The summit. The summit. That's the summit. Everything. Everything going on is spiritual, but people don't see it that way. Though. That's why we we see it, but they don't see it. They were nice enough. But even even and I tried to give him gas money. But even according to the Bible, Israel is a mountain. That's a fat ass right there, ladies and gentlemen. Get that ass on camera. Get that ass shaking. Don't worry about it. All right, that was just that bitch. That bitch had a fat ass. But the uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, even Israel is known as uh, Jerusalem is known as Mount Zion. You know what I mean? Israel. What we're known as a mountain. You know what I mean? Old Mount Seir. I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand. And some people are so stupid, they think it's talking about an actual mountain. And then the Lord's going to go over out in the middle of the desert to a mountain and put his hand over a mountain. But that's how, that's how stupid people are. You know, oh, i got to change this battery. All right, go ahead. All right, let me change the battery.